month. Now, his mind was often somewhere else in the universe, but to renowned astronomer Sir Patrick Moore, Selsey in West Sussex was always home. It was there he lived in a Tudor thatched cottage, wrote most of his books and studied the skies from several observatories in his garden. Well, today, Sir Patrick, who died in 2012, was honoured with the unveiling of a heritage blue plaque. Sean Killick reports. It's more than 50 years since Sir Patrick Moore moved into this house in Selsey, a good location for his observation. There are various things that I observe, the moon and the planet Jupiter and certain kinds of stars, and a lot of it, of course, is done with this telescope. In 1995, Sir Patrick showed me around his home, including his garden observatories. So you actually did the moon mapping here at Selsey? I did quite a bit in the, early, in the early days. How good is this area for astronomy? It's as good as you'll get anywhere in England. And there's not a tremendous amount of light pollution by British standards. A little of Aurora, Bogner, and Regis in the north. By night it was the garden, but by day it was the study where you would find Sir Patrick. All the books I've written have been written on this machine, my 1908 machine that I was given when I was eight years old. For 55 years, Sir Patrick presented the BBC programme The Sky at Night, inspiring countless astronomers, including Brian May, who described Sir Patrick as a father figure who encouraged him to study for a PhD in astrophysics. Today, the musician and other friends gathered for a ceremony and to pay tribute. Patrick, privately, was the most amazing inspiration to us all, not just because of his incredible knowledge, but because he was such a compassionate man, such a kind man, and nothing was ever too much trouble for him. Patrick was Mr. Selsey, and I think this is a fitting tribute to a great man. And he was well known for riding around the village on a bike with no brakes. And he was just an absolute character, and he appeared in all the local pantomimes, and he, w he was the best advert Selsey's ever had. Sir Patrick himself may now be up among the stars, but at least from today there's a permanent tribute at the house which for so many years was the centre of his universe. Sean Killick, BBC South Today, Selsey.